gorgeous summer's day. Not a cloud in the sky. Sun's out. And somebody is messing around with their hanging baskets. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm just walking around deadheading, as you do. Okay. Yeah. But look at these, haven't they come on? Since you last saw us, I think they've grown amazing. <laughs> hanging baskets always do look nice. Yeah. They always do well here. They do. But so, look at these. This is what I've been waiting for. The calla lilies and the arum lilies. No flowers yet, but look at those leaves. Massive. Always get a good show with these, don't we? Very impressive. Very nice. And look at the buds on the dahlia. Amazing. Yeah, that's going to be out soon then. I should think so, within the next week or so, mm -hmm. I would guess. Another hanging basket behind you. Let's go and have a look. Oh. With some fading flowers. That's still a nice But look show. at this. I love this. Lobelia. Trailing Lobelia, I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah. You remembered this time. I remembered this time, yeah. <laughs> I won't remember everything, as always. But the bellies, look at this. It doesn't matter how much I water it or leave it and not water it. It sulks. So I don't know what's up with it. Oh, that's a clump come out. <laughs> well, I might do that with the secateurs then. <laughs> but yeah, look, we've got some cuttings in here. These why, are, why have we got cuttings in here? <laughs> well, these two are Astrantia that I knocked off the plant when I was weeding. But these are cuttings we took when we went for a walk because we've put a hedge out the front, little I'm, tiny plug plants to just, grow a hedge. I might just stick a little bit of that video in here so people know what you're talking about. All oh, right, OK. <laughs> We're making a mess. Hedge being put in. Very small now, but they're quite fast growing, so it's got a nice hedge down here at some point. There you go. Let's get on with it. <laughs> hey, Stad. Not many to go now. No. Um, so we put 12 plants in, and four of them have died, completely died. And the people that we got them from think it's water. Which kind of makes sense because it's on the drive, which would perhaps be compacted and it's got stones over the top of them yeah. as well. You mean overwater, not just water. Overwatered, <laughs> yeah, overwatered. So yeah, it's I'm not clay. watering them for a few days, but it's really hot. It's not very sure. clay soil. It's real it's clay. It's got granite over the top of it. We dug a, well, I dug a big hole out for each one. Again, show you in the video. Don't um, you pull my cuttings out. put them in um, good soil, but um, yeah, still lost a few. Yeah. It all started really good. And as we move up, yeah, not so good. Dead. Dead. And dead. What a shame. So, so we took some cuttings when we were out for a dog walk, didn't we? Look at these. These are orchid geraniums. They are stunning, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. I did plant some liatris bulbs in here, but they haven't come up, so I'm a bit disappointed. But hey-ho, we've got a fair bit of colour now, I think. We were saying earlier, weren't we, we think the garden's looking the best this year that it's ever looked. Yeah, it's gone through a lot of changes over the years. It has. In the past, what, four or five years, it's completely changed shape, hasn't it? The patio hasn't. I mean, I hate the patio, but you can see how big it is. It the would cost with a the patio, If you put anything too fancy down, it moves so much because yeah. it's, it's clay. The, the houses were built years ago on, on silty clay soil. It used to be floodland. Yeah. And as is with modern world, they Ooh. build on anything and everything nowadays. Yeah. So subsidence is always an issue. Um, the house is pretty good because they put good foundations down. But again, we've, um, we've had to do some work. We have. All the foundations had to be strengthened up. Um, but this here 
Now you wouldn't believe, you probably can't see it on camera, but I leveled it off when I did the garden two or three years ago. And um, it just moves all the time. Yeah. Um, it shrinks in the summer, it swells in the winter. There you might see, look yeah. at that corner, so just can, the other side of it. So you can see here, yeah, it, it lifts quite it bad badly, there. as you can see there. And it was all leveled out, but like I say, it swells in the uh, winter, it shrinks in the summer and it just doesn't stay level. So if you put anything less than these heavy slabs down, um, as next door have, ironically, they, they go all over the place. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, I yeah. digress. You missed our new friend. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> been um, cheap shopping. Yeah. <laughs> it was, a, well it was, B&M. If you're in the UK, <laughs> you know. Yeah, B&M. B &M. B &M. like I say, cheap shopping. <laughs> <laughs> And we've actually got the cushions out now that the weather's improved mm -hmm. and the ball on yes and i was sitting there reading mm. but you're not now but now i'm not because yeah. we're showing you around the garden mm. i'm proud on, of it <laughs> <laughs> i pick things up as i go otherwise i'll forget right lilies i didn't think they'd come back if i'm honest but they are and the lupins are doing ever swell. This is their second flush now. Oh look, we've got a bee as well. Let's get, yeah. let's get Mr. Bee. We Mr. Like Bumblebee. Bees. We like bees. Look at him, he's beautiful. Hello, Mr. Bumblebee. Oh, he's going to attack me. <laughs> oh, you found your stick tape. Uh, bumblebees don't attack. <laughs> if you ever see a bumblebee on the floor, by the way, sugary water and they'll come round. Yeah, they get tired. And if you give them sugary water, because obviously they collect the pollen, and the nectar then um, they will pick up again there you go he's beautiful can you see him there he is look at that anyway <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird video today it is <laughs> hey ho oh ted's got his stick ted's look got, ted's got his stick How cleaning you? your teeth ted oh yeah he's, he's only happy when he's got something <laughs> to chew you won't let me chew the mushrooms <laughs> there you go look, everything's just filling out and coming on can you see this beautiful blue Chinese plumbago? Gorgeous. And all the heucheras are in flower. And look at my Veronica. That's all in flower now. That was new a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? <laughs> well, a few weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. we got a bit carried away buying plants and Everything. now it's... Um... <laughs> yeah, now we're just looking for space. <laughs> <laughs> and this was quite bare just here but it ain't now <laughs> no it's not oh look the pe the rose is losing its leaves we have had horrendous winds haven't we the past couple of weeks in the uk and things have suffered i did lose a couple of lupins it blew them over now it looks as if it's blowing that but look what it's done to my beautiful acer this is wind scorch yeah so i might have to nip those bits off Fortunately, one of the joys of living in the uk is either windy or wet yeah <laughs> and, and then again you get a day like this yeah oh it's beautiful it's about 22 degrees now isn't it it's gorgeous lovely hostas are still doing well oh flowers on them as well yeah didn't have those last time no there you go. that spotted one is gorgeous that's not a hosta. What's that then? That's a polka dot plant. Oh. I can't remember the proper name for it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the, um, oh, what are these? Don't know, you're the gardener, you tell me. <laughs> what are you looking at, these white, the white fluffy ones, things? yeah. They're white fluffy plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they are. Yeah. We'll perhaps put it on the screen what it is no we'll forget to do that in the editing. oh you mean you'll forget <laughs> what to do yeah your um tree started to lose leaves i've picked loads of look oh yeah so hmm i don't know maybe it didn't like me chopping it mm. my bush is dropping yeah it is damn that's got different colors on it look two different colors like a bronzy peachy yeah and the green that's pretty and it is uh -huh. don't ask me what brand i don't know <laughs> but yeah right. it's lovely and again a dirty, our area. dirty area which yeah. we can't keep clean you, it's the trees you can't keep it we clean. need something with a roof 
I did say we get a swing. Yeah. Can now look at this swing. rose. Yes. That is um That is beautiful, isn't it? It is. And considering it was it was part of a a ranger, wasn't it, years ago? In a basket. Mm. Yeah, a Mother's Day gift. Yeah. yeah. And there's always the dead olive trees doing the well. The dead olive tree <laughs> is sprouting, absolutely. Yeah. And the white hydrangea that I saved <laughs> is doing really well. Mm. It did have a problem. Do you remember? Some of the leaves started to droop and I had to cut them off. Yeah, but got, it's come back. You've got one just there and he's taking off the, the brown one. Yeah. And one up top there. There you go, I'll point out the problems. You point out the problems and I'll solve them. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I think last time we just put this sleeper in place um, to give the garden a bit of height, really. Um, ah, it's being eaten, I think. It's got bugs on it. Spray it. Yeah, I'm going to go and washing get... Washing up liquid. Washing up liquid, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the, uh, the raised area looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? And the maple's was loving it just there. Yeah. <laughs> and the hostas are too. Yeah. It looks like and he's got a few dead bits that need snipping off. we tucked at the back there as well. Yeah. Yeah, again, this area was a bit of a wasteland, really, but... Uh, it was. We didn't yeah. know what to do with this area, but well, it's okay now. When yeah. the garden... Well, before the garden was remodelled for about the third time, it used to be a planting area. It was a big... Just a big lump of soil, really. It went all the way, almost up to the shed. Yeah. And, um, yeah, put some bamboos in. We put a... A eucalyptus at the back there which is following the sun yeah uh, probably what's chopping down and yeah because it will low. sprout from the bottom again won't it if yeah, we do which is a probably good idea to fill a gap and it's yeah it just um yeah it just didn't it didn't <laughs> um, but the bamboo i mean christ that's oh love the bamboo yeah they were little sprigs when they went in and they're absolutely gorgeous now. yeah beautiful this i think is an astrantia it has little fluffy flower heads can't wait for that to pop. Can't remember what colour they are, but yeah. My hosta down here has been eaten to shreds, look. But it's still throwing up new leaves. It's all right then. And that one over there. I remember this was very pot bound last, what, last year, the year before? What? Didn't it come out of a pot? This? Mm. No, it's been in the garden a few years now. I thought that was in a pot yeah. at one point and it just didn't like it. I need to snot, snip this off because it's getting in the way of this. Not that one, this one. Yeah. Oh, I've had to move a few plants around to make room. Look at those. The geraniums, yeah. And they survived from last year. Yeah. And they're, an they're supposed to be annuals, aren't they? Look here. Oh, peaches. Peaches, yeah. We haven't got many. There's one, there's two there. There's one there, look. I can't and really I see those. I'll seen... take your word for it. <laughs> and there's two more well, yeah, here. Put them back there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got a few then. Something so, for the birds to eat. Yeah. The birds usually get to them before we do, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is another, another Veronica. I must remember next year I've got to stake it up. And look, it's survived. They've survived being planted in the ground. Those are arum lilies. So I'm really chuffed with those. Mm. Yeah, another polka dot plant. Mm. That's a Nandina, heavenly bamboo. Um, it's just not growing or doing anything. I mean, it's got different colours on it now, but it's not growing. So I'm not sure. I might have to move it. I might have to do some research. And this is new. Little lambs here cutting from me dad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And me daisies. Your daisies, yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to dig those up at the end of the season and split them. Because mm -hmm. that, that's getting too big there. It's drowning everything out. Yeah. Because since we don't like roses, we've got another rose. We've got a few, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we started putting them in the garden when Stacey, our daughter, bought me them in mm. baskets, didn't we? And they were little tiny things like that. <laughs> Six inches tall. I think that rose needs to come off there it's a bit dead and the first flower on the oleander mm. this year but it's got a few buds it's got a rotten leaf down the bottom as well it has but they're poisonous sap so i do it when i've got gloves on All right. so these are penstemon, 
and they're being drowned out by this. And I don't know what that's called. It's a fern that my dad gave me. <laughs> yeah. So, sedum? No, that's sedum. That's something else. Can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Deary me, that's a sedum there as well. <laughs> this is doing well. Really pleased with that. Yeah, your day is as well. Yeah. Doing really well. I'd forgotten that was there, I've got to be honest. And it popped up and I thought, that doesn't look like a weed. I'm going to let it grow. <laughs> and it's a dahlia. So uh, it must have been too much for the pot. I wouldn't have been able to fit it in. So I threw it in the corner. I'm really pleased it survived because I put two over there and they didn't come back at all. So you've done really well and you're a beautiful colour. <laughs> Keep growing. Black violas. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm in the shade. I'm showing you my shadow. <laughs> oh, the coleus is growing a flower. That's going to have to come off. Why? Because I don't grow coleus for the flowers. You grow them for the foliage. Oh, okay. Yeah. So again, this is something Dad gave us. Don't know what it is, but it's growing. This has been amazing, the geum. The flowers that we've had on that has been amazing. And we've just missed that. That was covered in white flowers, the Hebe. First time it's flowered <laughs> this year. Likes that border. Obviously, yeah. Well, it was all full of um, compost, multi purpose. Yeah, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I filled it up again. I put some more in, lifted it a bit. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with my mint. Last year, this was full. I thought it was going to break the pot. This year, it's not doing very well at all. Mm. And I think this I'm going to have to cut back because it's looking a bit leggy now. And then we should get second flushes, shouldn't we? Same yeah. with that one. And that's all but finished flaring now. Oh, that's gone. Yeah, I picked everything off and it's just, it's getting new leaves now, look. Mm -hmm. I, I'm i guessing, you know, that that's probably pot bound, the size of it. Time for the garden then. Yeah. Well, no, you can't because it needs special soil. No. Ericaceous soil. And I've just had to chop the last flower off my coral coloured lupin, but I am getting all fresh growth from the bottom. So I'm hoping I might, that might, that might give me a second flush as well. Fingers crossed. Mm. And that's the garden today. Oh, we missed your rum clematis, didn't we? <laughs> and that's gone crazy, hasn't it? Yeah, on the archway. Yeah. You've got buds. Yep, yeah, me Mosa. Yeah, I did see another one here, didn't I? I can't see it now. Yeah, just fast it's growing. Probably up there it's somewhere. Always, um, when it gets established, it just goes absolutely crazy. They go crazy, crazy yeah. Which would be nice because it's, it's not the prettiest of archways, so when it's covered in flowers. No, I'm looking for a rusty archway to go with all my other rusty bits and pieces. <laughs> but yeah, this, the colour, I just love, I think that's my colour, coral. So we probably need a few more corally bits in the garden, but where? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, that's oh, about right, it for July it, then. then. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, the beginning of July, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's looking amazing. I'm really pleased with the garden this year. So do you want to go and sit in my seat where I sit to read and then the people can see my view? <laughs> <laughs> Your view. Hold on, let me go across there. My daily view. Feet up. Oh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Dog's here. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, I was relaxing. Yeah, that's his spot in, in yeah. shade. <laughs> there you go. That's... You won't be in the shade for much longer, Ted. Another hour and it'll be gone. That's Ted happy. <laughs> <laughs>